So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a program called Open Speed Test within Docker on your Synology NAS. What this program allows you to do, it allows you to do a throughput test from a hardwired um, device on your network. So a Windows 10 machine that might be plugged into the Ethernet cable or a Mac machine. And you can also do the same test via a web browser on your iPhone or iPad. So you can test the speed of your Wi-Fi. And that can be just if you've got um, a single Wi-Fi device from your ISP provider. Or it could be that you set up a Unify um, access points throughout your business or home. And you wanted to test the throughput uh, speeds from them access points. So if you're interested in trying to make your network better and maybe balancing your system, then this is a great tool to use. So without any further ado, let's have a look and see how you do that. So the first thing we obviously need to do is open up the Synology drive. I am already logged into mine um, and you can see I'm running DSM 7 on my Synology. You might be running on the DSM 6.2, I think it was, which looks uh, a bit dated than this, but essentially there's not a massive amount of difference for what we are doing. So we need to go to the package center and install Docker if you haven't done already. Obviously, you've got Docker already installed, but then you can skip this step. But we go into the package center, go up to the top, uh, into the search box, uh, type in Docker, hit enter, and then you can see I already have mine ready to go, but yours might say install. So just install the Docker program, and that will install Docker onto your Synology drive. I'm just going to click on open, get rid of the package center, and you can see this is Docker uh, and it is running. Now, in here, I have already got iPerf running, which I also use as a network tool, not just on my internal networks, but on um, jobs that I complete, just to test the network speed. Uh, it's a bit more geeky compared to the open speed test, which we are going to be using. So let's get open speed test installed. So you've got a couple of different options in Docker on this left hand side, which I will cover briefly as I skip through them. You've got your image, you've got your registry and you've got your container which are the ones that we'll be essentially working with. And the first thing we need to do is go into registry and we need to download open speed test. So we simply type open, uh, if I make sure I spelt it right, open speed test, like so, push enter. It will do a search, it'll come back with a couple of different hits. We want the official version, which is this one at the top, open speed test slash latest. Open speed test, pure HTML5 network performance estimation tool. Click on that and then click on download. It then says what tag do you want to put in it. You can have latest or you can call it speed test, whichever you want to do. I'm going to leave it on the latest version. So click select and then make sure that it goes in to our image, which you see this little one that it's appeared here. So we've got the registry, which is the list of the programs. Let me clear that and then go into the image and you should see the open speed test program that's been installed within Docker. So once we've got that installed, we can then click on open speed test, click on launch, and then it launches the program. We're not actually running at this point, it will do in a second. Um, the only thing I'm gonna change here, you can change the container name. The only thing I'm gonna change in here is I'm going to tell open speed test to use the same IP address as my NAS router, uh, sorry, my NAS um, Synology drive, which is 192.168.0.150. Now it will change the port number and I'll just cover that in a second, but let's tell the network within open speed test to use the same network as the Docker host, which is my Synology drive, put the tick box, tells you you cannot join other networks when using the same network as Docker host. Okay with that. And the other thing to cover in here, which um, you see that the port settings are not required when using the same network as Docker. What it will try and do is label these. Um, you can see the ports there, 3000, 3001 and 8080. So I'm going to leave network, click apply, and then click on next. Gives you a rundown of what's going to happen. And then we click done. And you can see the tick box there, run this container after the wizard is finished. So just leave that ticked, click on done. So what it's going to do is run the um, open speed test container. So the word container is what we need to be taking note of there because on the left hand side, we've got container. And we can see we have got um, iPerf, which is currently not running, uh, which is another program which I installed. And you've got Open Speed Test, which is now running. The thing here, uh, what I was talking about, the port numbers, because it gives um, Open Speed Test several port numbers that you can access it on. The problem can come if you have uh, things that are on your network that clash with them same IP or port numbers. 
So it might be worth using something like uh, Angry IP Scanner. If you're struggling to get it to run, use something like Angry IP Scanner, which I think I might have opened already. Uh, and you can see a list of, and I'll just blank out my uh, names for my devices, but you can see a list of the port numbers that are being used on my network. And I'll, all I've done is done a scan of my complete 192.168.0.0 and all the way to the 255 range and then click start does a full scan and shows you which ports are being used on the network so bearing in mind this 8080 is the one that open speed test uses so it's worth checking that if you can't get it to work the also the other thing you can do within container is click on the open speed test here within container click on details and it gives you some more information about the program that you are running tells you the process you've got a log and you've also got a terminal section okay so once you've checked your port numbers and your ip addresses there is one last thing you can check just to see which ports that has been uh, configured for the open speed test so we click on the image and then click on make sure we've got the right one selected so if you've got a couple of programs listed make sure you pick up on open speed test click on launch click on advanced settings and then go across to the port settings and it will tell you the ports that uh, open speed test is using you can see it's got 8.0, 3001 and 3000. So bearing in mind that these are the container ports, we can then try and open up Open Speed Test. So this is on a Windows machine which is connected to my local area network through a Unify switch, uh, which obviously the Synology driver is also connected to. That's why I can adjust it here. So I'm now going to go to 192.168.0.150, which is my Synology NAS drive, then colon. I'm going to try and use in the port 80, uh, 8080 just to show you what happens. So 8080, this site cannot be reached. So it obviously can't get through on that port number, which suggests to me that that's already being used by something else. And I know I've got Hue lights, I think, that use um, that same uh, port number. Uh, I think my Unify devices use that. So we've got, if you remember what we looked at here, we've got 3001 and 3000. So it's worth checking them over two just to see if we can get them to work. So let's go 3000. And you can see straight away now we've got it open and we can run the speed test so i can click on the start button and we can see the speed of the uh, internal network or ethernet connection through our switch which you can see is not far off the one gig uh, which i'm running on a one gig nick on my uh, pc which is uh, this is connecting to but the beauty of this open speed test program is that you can do the same thing on your a phone so for example if you've got an iphone or an ipad the only thing you need to do is go to the same address 192.168.150 within safari on your phone so what i'll do i'll put a screenshot on the top here so you can see what's going on let me just go back to the synology cancel that down and i'll put it in the middle here so you can see that so all i'm going to do here is open up um a web browser and I'm going to go to the same address that we've got on here. So obviously the 192.168.0.150 and then the port number uh, is 3000 that I'm using. So I'm going to go into there, into Safari. Now you can see I've just done a, a test sample. So I'm going to do the same again. And you see the, the address at the top. I'm not going to be typing it in because you can see where it's going to. It's going to 192.168.0.150 colon and then 3000. Click on go. It opens up the same screen, splash screen that we've seen there click on start and what this is doing is this is testing from your Wi-Fi access point so I'm quite a bit away from the point that it's on at the moment um, and obviously if you move it around and what you can do is then walk around your property or business and then check the speeds that your throughputs that you're getting through your access points and where this uh, really is good you might be showing a full um, Wi-Fi signal which you can see I am on mine at the moment but because it's got a full signal it might have a, a full signal and can see the signal but because you might have walls or something like that in the way your actual speed or your the throughput uh, is not very high at all so for example if i went directly underneath my uh, access point then it will go up to something like 400 or something like that which i will put the video and just do um i'll go down and record it won't put it on here but you'll see it on the screen now uh, and you'll see that the speed uh, goes up as i go nearer to the actual access point so what this tool essentially lets you do is tweak uh, or see your internet throughput speed. You can see on the left, I'm showing 38 down, approximately 74 up. 
The one on the right where I'm stood directly on top of the access point, I'm showing 512 down and I think it's about 480 up. So it's a really good tool for balancing your system and checking that you've got the right deployment of your access points. So there we have it. There's how to install Open Speed Test uh, within Docker on your Synology NAS drive. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button if it has been useful. Hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching the Computer Lab.